Scope planning is part of the planning stage in the PDCA cycle. Planning stage is composed of three modules, scope planning, time planning, and cost planning. The planning process starts off with determining the nature and scope of the project. If this stage is not performed well, it is unlikely that the project will be successful in meeting the business's needs. The planning process continues with planning time, cost, and resources to estimate the work needed and to effectively manage risk during project execution. A failure to adequately plan greatly reduces the project's chances of successfully accomplishing its goals. In fact, planning and development of scope, time, and cost is the foundation of an effective project control system. Furthermore, scope, time, and cost forms the triple constraints of a project. The challenge of every project is to make it work within the triple constraint. The triple constraint is cost, time, and scope. These three elements of a project are known to work in cycle with one another. Where one of these elements is restricted or extended, the other two elements will then need to be either extended and increased or restricted and reduced in some way. For example, if a client introduces additional scope to the project, you would need more time and more money to execute the additional scope. In another scenario, if a client requests to shorten the duration of a project, you would need more resources to execute the same scope. Therefore, there is a balancing of these three elements that, only when fully understood by the project manager, allows for the successful planning and execution of a project. At the end of the day, these are the key elements of a successful project, which determine whether or not you have effectively managed a project. To end up with a successful project, you need to have a good plan in place, a plan that consists of the three major elements of scope, time, and cost. Let's start the planning process with scope planning.